Okay, so last time you guys decided to come down to the sea where you met two guards beneath the water. And as you were down here meeting with those guards and making sure that you were able to pass, you got a strength challenge to go challenge a dragon. You went to this dragon expecting you could dominate the beast, and you failed. And now you are trying to lead it back to the city where Corona is currently about a pretty good chunk ahead of that. You are currently with Corin, the Hand, and Blueford. What will you do? Um, I'm gonna look at Corin and Blueford and just kind of be like, oh, I guess we should follow? Slightly confused since at this point, I guess this is the best way we're gonna get into the city by causing all this commotion. So she's gonna follow kind of behind, not super close, but close enough. Uh, how would you keep them within sight? How would you rank that close but not close enough? So if this thing is like swimming, if Corona is ahead uh, of it and this thing is it's swimming. about seventy feet away from you, and Corona's about ninety feet away from it. Okay, so I'm going to be about, like, 30 feet, 30, 40 feet away from it. So it's still in sight, but I'm trailing it. Just not super close. Blueford is following behind you, doggy paddling underwater, which doesn't seem to be getting him that far. I'm going to turn and look at Blueford and it's like, he's, okay. Uh, he's struggling. Like, he's struggling to move at all. Because, like, he's trying to doggy paddle forward, but he's not really making it. Because, like, he doggy paddles, but it just puts him up. Like, it just brings him up, and he doesn't know how to go forward, and he's panicking. Okay, she's going to go back and swing towards him and kind of grab, like swim behind him and like push his hind in like her hand drawn his little foot and she's gonna like swim and push him forward this will slow you down I know but Popo needs to go so she's gonna like use all her might to kind of swim for so while this will keeping cut your him kind of so what is your movement speed 30 feet Okay. So. And if I lose, use long strider on myself, which I can. You're only moving. It, well, long strider only moves. It works if you're on your own. If I'm what? Long strider is just if you're on your own. You're moving only yourself. If you're trying to move someone else, you'd have to cast long strider on both of you. I can do that. It's a. Pretty much do that, that's fine. So, if I use it at a higher spell, though, I can cast it once and it'll affect me and another. And it adds extra 10 feet. So, I'm doing it at second level. Okay. So, you're. So I Movement is increased to 45, but you still have to use half of that, so it's back down to mm, 22. That's fine. Still moving, so... So you're cruising along, pushing this pupper behind you. Akudama seems well, completely... Well, in front of me. Ak um, sorry, Corin com seems completely dazed. 
she's gonna stop and she's gonna turn around and be like, "Hey, porn, dude, come on, got a dragon headed to the city. Kind of need to keep up." He seems like like completely dazed, like uh, like dumbfounded. Okay, so she's gonna stop. And she's gonna like pat Bluefur and be like, hey, stay here. She's gonna turn around and with her added swim speed, she's going to go over to Corrin and like try to pull him. Like, hey, Dave and feed. Come on. R- roll me a strength check. Because he's currently sinking down. Because he's not. Oh, no. That's a 15. You are able to keep him afloat right there. You'll have to run another strength check to pull him. Alright. Let's see if I can pull him along. Nope, that's a 5. I can't pull him anywhere. You are dragged down. But I can down. keep him afloat. Yeah, you are able to keep him afloat in that one spot. Bluford's looking at you, then looking at the dragon, then looking at you, and then looking at the dragon. And he's gonna try to come over and help you. Okay. So he's gonna be like, thank you! Thank you! Oh, he, you're gonna, always so helpful! He's gonna grab the other side of Corrin. And he's going to attempt to lift him. Oh! No. <laughs> no. Can't wish. Oh no. He uh got a ten. Oh no. So we ain't lifting nothing. You two are stuck there, just kind of holding him. It's like God damn. We can see them getting further and further away. Mm-hmm. It's like. I'm gonna try another strength check to see if I can start moving. You're currently keeping That's a... him right there, but you also notice that you're kind of slowly sinking because you both failed. Okay, I rolled checks. a 16 strength. You are able to pull him, but that will slow down your movement by half. Okay. And because you are trying to also help Blueford, your strength is cut by half again. So you can move a total of 10 feet. Oh my god, okay, I'm trying. So you with Corin around your waist and pushing Blueford in a certain direction, you're moving 10 feet very slowly. Wonderful! Yay! I can see them, but I can't get close enough! It appears Corona might be a little bit late, so... I'm just gonna say he's gonna keep on swimming. Okay. Okay. In the meantime... So we're all just kinda... In the meantime, swimming, roll me a perception. Ooh, shit, okay. The Persephashon. Mm-hmm. That's a 28, boss. You can see underwater that because you are a massive pile of flesh that is moving very, very slowly, you can see that a multitude of creatures have taken a liking to your position. Oh, fuck. No. Why do you have to be a freaking dead weight? As she's like pulling corn and pushing uh, Blueford, like, fuck. This is not what I need right now. She's like kicking as hard as she can. You notice that something 
has giant meaty claws. Oh no 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 no! And the as oh, it's no. moving, it's moving below you. It's just like scuttling around the ground. Oh no! Is that a giant crab? Oh no! I don't like that. Roll me another perception. That's 23. You identify it as a huge crab. No, fuck. Upon identification, you know this is a huge crab, and that these are... Uh, creatures that prey on much weaker prey. <clears throat> or attempt mm. to. You can see both of his giant claws with copper bands around them. With arcanic ruins in them. Okay, so you can't so get them. You also noticing that he's trailing you. Mm, is there anything else trailing with him? No. Okay. Oh, shit. Can I use this? How far down is he from my position? 35 feet. 35 feet. Oh, shit. Uh, hmm. uh, all right, I'm going to do Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to <laughs> use hold creature. Does hold monster. Does that require your hands to use? No. Does it does not. Does that require I just have to look at it. Does that require concentration? Oh, shit, it does. Oh, fuck. Okay, I can't use it. Yeah, concentration. Yep, I can't use it. Fuck it. I'm just going to keep going. Okay. You keep moving along. And as you keep doing so, roll me a deck save. Okay. That's a 28. Okay. You manage to dodge as a giant claw comes reaching up and snaps, sucking all the water towards it as it goes back down. As you realize the crab can reach pretty far. She's just gonna keep saying, fuck, 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 fuck. While trying to swim and keep going. Roll me another deck save. Okay. I'm fucked up shit. Huh? What'd you get? That's a 12. Okay, so you manage to dodge, but it snaps a hold of Corrin and drags him down. No! She's going to 
push Blueford up and turn around and like that point and start kind of doing a tug of war style type of uh No, he he he's been pulled out of your arms and down towards the crab. Oh no, okay, I'm about to use hold monster. Fuck that. I can get coin out if I can fucking hold this monster in place. So I'm going to use a What does Crab have to roll? He has to roll a um, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Got him that one. He does not have and he is officially paralyzed so it can't move. So as long as I'm staring at it, I can still... You see this crab go from, like, kind of, like, chorful, like, got, like... Like, he's kind of, like, moving, like he's happy, to just completely paralyze all his muscles, seize up, and he just kind of falls down. As you can see, his entire body is just collapsed. Okay. Mm. Blueford is slowly sinking down and trying to get to Corin. He's also going to sink down while she's still looking at him. She can see Corin within her sight. I'm going to do a... To see if you can. Okay. Because there's a lot of volcanic That's a 17. ash and smoke down here. That's a 17. You manage to pick out the direction that you can see Corn going to. And you think that he is inside, that he's still inside the crab's right claw. Okay. Can I do a... Can I try to pull him up? Well, you haven't gotten to him yet. Okay. I want to... Well, now that I don't have both of them, I can swim faster, so I should be able to get to him. So you swim over to him, and you see that he's fully encased in the claw, but because of the paralysis, it's caused a lot of his muscles to tense up. I mean, the claw is just barely a kind of like out of so because of Corrin's beefiness he is able to kind of like keep the crab from squeezing him in half but it looks as if the paralysis continues that the crab is gonna chop him in half fuck she's going to like she's like kind of like looking like Fuck, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Um, is the hand still there? Yeah. She is going to ask Vienna if he can try to use whatever power he has to kind of open up the claw enough for her to try to get him out. You see the hand kind of like nod as of yes, but he snaps and casts message to you. Okay. Nothing is heard, but you can see him doing sign language as if he's trying to speak to you. Okay, so she's going to look. So she's like, I- I'm trying to figure out what you're saying, man. Uh <laughs> Can I use, um, what comprehend of, language? What kind of bard are you? I'm a, uh, shit, how do I, 
Did you choose a I school? Did... did I choose a what? School. Yes, I did. Um, uh, where is it? How do I know? You kind of look character. No, 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 no. I did a jack of all trades, college, Bard College of Lore. Do you have the after feet? Check my feet. I have the grappler feet. Never mind then. What were you going to try to do? I'm going to try to see if I could use um, a spell called Comprehend Language Languages on myself to try to sure. let's see if I can understand him. Okay. So you cast Comprehend Languages and you can hear... <coughs> You can comprehend that he's telling you that he doesn't have enough strength to move the claw, but he can try to use a spell to do so. Okay. She, she's going to be like, okay. Anything we can try to get him out of this fucking crab's he, claw so I can try to push him back he in. He asks, would lightning work? We're in water! He said it would... He said he will cook the crab. Uh, yeah, but it could cook us too. I mean, if we're just pointing it at the crab, it should work. It should, but that might hurt corn too. I'm not sure. So... Let's see, what is he gonna try? I mean, I don't need a half burned coin. Um. He is going to use arcane sword mm -hmm. so upon doing so he makes a sword that lasts up for the duration of the sword appears okay he's gonna just try to like start carving off meat from this crab okay So he's just going to try to carve off the hand or something? Yeah, so you see him stabbing this spell sword into it, with it forcing bits, chunks and pieces of crab meat, like raw crab meat and shell off. Okay. While he's doing can that, I try that will... to grab Corrin and pull him up? You can. Do I have to? I need a strength check for that. Mm-hmm. Come on, give me a ah uh, fuck twelve. Okay. You are not I'm not able. pulling him anywhere. You had to uh, roll me a constant. So you had to concentrate to do that. Um, roll me a con save. Constitution? Mm-hmm. Okay. For your hold, beast. 
Five. It fails. The beast is now unparalyzed. Fuck! And now he has part of a claw. Roll initiative. God damn! Why do I always have to fight by my freaking self? I'm a bitch. But you could have just, you know, not used the concentration spell, or not used an action that takes concentration. Let's I'm see. trying to be creative here. That's the a hand, six, by the way. Okay, the hand got a 21. Blueford got a 19. The beast got a 4. So. Okay, let's see here. It's hand Blueford Corin. <clears throat> okay. So It is now currently the hand's turn. So the hand is going to, as a bonus action, is going to like stab the sword into the beast. So let's see. Three to twenty. He stabs the force sword into it and jams, punching a hole through the claw and it mangles the claw. So the right claw is mangled. Okay. That brings his health down. Oh, math, work with me. <coughs> and then next, he is going to use as his action a he's going to use blight okay he's going to use a six level blight Make a con save. Okay. Get something to you. Got a 13. Does it succeed? No. I got a 21. No, it's for it. The hand is casting blight on the crab, not you. Not your turn yet. Ava? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, oh, this crab is going to get fucked over. One, two, three, four. The crab ticks. The crab is shot with a blight as it now has most of the moisture drained from its body. You see it's now very not doing so hot anymore. now Blueford's turn. Blueford is just going to use his uh, bite. And he is going to use his bonus action to attempt to disarm, to rip the arm off. So let's see if this thing makes that check. It passes with flying colors. And his bite attack He cuts into the flesh and deals a searing pain into the crab. 
cooking some of the meat in his arm. That ends Bluford's turn as he's going to move away from the crab. It is now the beast's turn. It's going to make a claw attack towards you, Ava. Does a... Twenty-two hit. Yep, it would hit. Okay. How much am I taking? So... One moment. You're taking 30 damage, and you're now grappled. Okay. Hello? Hello. Yeah. You're grappled. I'm kind of Meaning Fuck you're now in claw. By the way, did you take oh, that? Oh, no. By the way, did you take that 30 damage? Uh, I can take it now. Okay, I'm not doing too bad. It's now your turn. Alright, I'm grappled. Mm -hmm. Um... Hit Taki Mushroom. Can I try to get out of the grapple? You need to make a uh, strength save to check. Alright. I'm going to try. So, roll me a strength save. Shit, I got a six. Okay. I am still in that fucking grapple. Mm -hmm. Um... Will you attack it in any way? Yeah. Let me see. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am going to. We're in the water. I can see it. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to cast. Okay, I'm going to cast Thunder Witch. He has to make a con save. So does everyone else. Ah, oh, fuck. Let's see if Bluford never mind. Makes never it. mind. So let's see if Blueford oh. makes it. Blueford fails. Let's oh, see if the fuck. hand makes it. The hand fails. Oh, fuck. Let's see if the crab makes it. What do you have to make? A con save. The crab got a 17. Doesn't make it. Corin is out of it right now. Yeah. How much damage is everyone taking? 26. That's not what I intended to do. But, yeah. Okay. Blueford winces and whines as you have hurt him. I'm sorry, Blueford! 
I was he trying like, to get out of it. He winces and lets out like a y loud yelp and a whine. She's gonna like wiggle and be like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. The hand I was trying to get the stupid crab. The hand winces as it looks very angry as it drops its sword. I'm also sorry, Vienna. Fucking crab. Right, that's all I'm trying to do. Uh, it's now Corrin's turn. Corrin is out of it. It's now the hand's turn. Uh, okay. The hand is going to Let's see here. It's going to use a ray of frost. needs to make let's see let's see if he hits he does not hit so he shoots a ray of frost and it just beams past this thing completely <laughs> not working he's gonna try to stab it Let's see if he's able to stab it. He doesn't. He mm -hmm. misses with his sword. It is now Blueford's turn. <laughs> Blueford is going to attempt to attack it. He fails. He's also going to attempt to disarm it. The thing succeeds. He does not. It is now the beast's turn. It is going to attempt to bash you into the ground with a claw swing. You're still grappled, so you can't move, so it's going to hit you anyways. You're taking 45 damage from the claw swing into the ground as you are then hit with the heat of the magma and the rock bashing up against your skin and face. Ow. It is now your turn, Ava. I'm taking 45 damage, right? Uh-huh. I am going to freaking use... I'm going to use the Modicane sword. And I'm... Part of it's a hay. You sadly can't. It's concentration. It's rusted through. I make a new one, but each time, though. You do? Yeah. You create the sword. Oh. Okay, go for it. All right. I'm using it. It's a... I have it at level 7, so... I'm gonna roll DC. Tell me if you hit. 28. Yeah, you hit. Alright, I'm rolling for damage. Hey, Corin. Taking 14 damage. Hey, Corin. Hey, hey, hey. You're trapped in the claw of a crab. Uh, oh. Damn. I, that's okay. I love crabs. You're currently fighting a giant mm. crab. Hell yeah. So, you stabbed this thing. It winces in pain, but you didn't kill it. 
yet. Can you do anything else? That's gonna end my turn. Okay, Corn, it's your turn. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. You got it. Uh, that's a nat 24, 21. You wake up completely and you feel refreshed, but you realize you can't move because you're stuck in a claw hand. What? What the fuck is happening? I. How did I get oh, here? Thanks for waking up, fucking sleeping beauty. I. Look. Sleep is important. <laughs> You're in a mangled, yes. bloody claw head sleeping right in the middle of the fucking sea is important. Have to fucking pull your ass, and then we get attacked by this fucking crab. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him. He's angry, but uh, he's cute. Anyways. If you don't cook this crab, I swear to God. Oh, crab is delicious. Cook it then. You're currently... Right. So you're currently in a mangled crab arm that has like shell and all of its like flesh exposed oh okay okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a uh, the crimson right I'm gonna do necrotic damage and then I'm going to shoot the crab with my pistol First, I need you to make a strength save to get out of the crab. Oh, okay. Uh, that's a 12. You succeed. Cool. You just kind of, so... So as you get out of this crab, you just break off its other half because it was, there's no shell left anymore. You just kind of tear the muscle off. And there's just this floating piece of crab meat. Mmm. Remind me to pick that up later. Anyways, uh, I already rolled once for the okay. uh, pistol so I'm going to roll again. It was an 11. You don't hit. Alright, so for the other one, let's see here. We got a 15. You hit. Alright, so then we go do that one. And then a d10. That's 12. Plus Why are you rolling twice? Oh, I used my Crimson Right for because uh, it lets me... Uh, Oh, okay. You're rolling for the necrotic yeah. damage. Yeah. Okay. Which adds on a 3, so 15. Okay. You do 15 damage. Correct. Corin. Yep. Okay. Yep. How do you want to kill this thing? Uh, I want to shoot this fucking thing in the face, and then I want to eat it. Okay, so as you shoot it, you shoot it straight through its shell into its brain and out its other jawline. It's dead oh God. instantly. Hell yes. The only thing to leak out is its blood out of its brain cavity. Oh, yes. Can I so get out of this fucking claw now? You may now get out of the claw as it goes limp. She's going to swim out of the claw and swim to Blueford. And hug him and like pet him and be like, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. Oh, <laughs> like she's fucking like, fuck Corin. No, the Corin, dog needs the. By the Corin way, blinks. he's suddenly hungry. By the way, you have a wincing pain in your head. Take 24 damage. What the fuck? <laughs> that was me. Trying to wake your ass up and kill this crab at the same time. Oh my god, I am dying. <laughs> Are you dying, really? I'm not, like, down, but, like, I'm I'm hurt really bad. Give me a second, I'll heal your punk ass. Fucking Corona and the dragon thing is getting away anyway. Give me a second, I'll heal you. So, yeah, yes. I'm gonna, I want, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna cook up so, uh, some uh, crab tonight. That's we're fine. eating good. Make okay. sure you get that butter. Oh... <sighs> God. How much crab do you wish to salvage from this creature? As much as I possibly can. <laughs> so you want to salvage as much as you can? Oh, yeah. I'm going to do what? max care wounds so everyone around me is What is your good. max carry capacity? Um... 
Everyone's being healed for 26. Carrying capacity, 300 pounds. Okay. You get 100 pounds of crab meat. Fuck yes. By the way, heal for 26 points. Bluefred oh, cool. looks at I'm right you back and where he's... I was. So, Bluefred's gonna go down and start eating that piece of crab claw that got shaved off from you. Cool. Mm -hmm. He's Wouldn't like, that heal? It's about as big as Bluford, so he's just like grabbing onto it as it's floating to the sea, and he's just munching on it. Oh my god. I'm going to heal myself for... I'm going to give myself a third level heal. I, I healed for 20. <clears throat> Corn, are you alright? I mean, I could still use a little bit of health here, but, you know. Fine. I can a little bit, I suppose. You owe me. I swear to God, you fucking owe me. Uh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to touch you, and I'm going to heal you. Oh. Uh... You get healed for 16. Yeah, I guess that'll do. What are you at? Are you near full health? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck? He has, a tank. I'm at he, has a, he has a lot of health. I I, have, I do have a lot of health. I'm at 59 out of 148. Oh, give me a fucking second. <laughs> I'm going to use healing hands on myself and heal 18. Alright. I'll do another heal for you. Uh, Vienna, You're gonna do a cure wound. So Ava, That's twenty nine. Vienna's gonna like kind of grip onto your belly, and he's gonna heal himself. Okay. You healed for twenty nine, by the way, Corn. He's uh, he's yeah, healing from your, you. He's healing from your necrotic snatch. Obviously. So, hey, what the fuck happened? I was asleep, and then, like, I woke up. Crab, where's the dragon? What the hell's going on? The dragon is that way out people of sight. see. Well, barely see the tail at this point. Oh. And it's completely out of sight, actually. Ah, uh, fuck. Well, anyways, we need to head towards the city. I will push the dog, since he can't swim that well. You just swim forward, okay? I'll meet you there. Uh, you got it. Uh, Corin, are you going to take your hand buddy with you? Yeah, that's my friend. Okay, he's going he's gonna to grab onto your shoulder. Let's go, bud. We got this. Thumbs up. I am going to go back to Blueford and go behind him and again start pushing him. Towards the city. <laughs> Okay, so you all are heading towards the city, and as you slowly approach, you find that you start hearing a lot of screams. Underwater screams. <laughs> you get to the gate, and you see that both of the guards have been eviscerated. <laughs> completely, well, it looks like they made it to the fucking city completely eviscerated as in like they are burnt to a crisp oh this is hilarious you see that also the tower and glass tubing to go towards the city's hall has been completely erased will you swim kind of need at that will you swim <laughs> down to the city yes Yep. You swim and down. Corrin does so while laughing. You swim down the cavern. As you make it down the cavern, slowly but surely, you get to a point where you start to slowly see the city's light. But this time, instead of seeing it from the perspective of, you know, glowing lights that look like the city might be up and loose and cool. You see that it's, to your shock and dismay, the stating the whole city, maybe not shock and dismay, but the whole city 
is like on fire. It's, it's, you see this thing, this whole city is burnt to crisps and molten ash as there is whole houses of coral reef house that have been completely shuttered through. Mm-hmm. That... <laughs> Uh, this was not the whatever let's fucking find them at this point I don't care you see what happens whenever they don't let us in this (laughs) she is just gonna roll her eyes hey you know I'm right bite me hey again you know I'm right they should have let us in not to do some stupid test with a big ass dragon knowing we were probably going to like you know get fucked up so suck it so you notice that the first thing you can see is there appears to be some kind of residential district where there is a large number of houses and people and all kinds of merfolk running for their lives getting burnt down by this dragon and stomping and swimming through slashing and burning tearing up whole houses as it goes you can also see the guards trying to fight it off by shooting harpoons into it as they tinker off the armor of the dragon. Well, that's one hell of a distraction. At this yep. point, we might as well just fucking let the dragon do the work for us. It, but that was see, the whole plan. <laughs> you then see his giant crabs trying to come out as men are riding on what seems to be cavalrymen trying to go forward. But it doesn't work. The crabs are completely cut off and killed as the coral reef golems come out and completely are shattered to smithereens. You swim lower. As you can see, there is an entryway to seem some kind of hall. Some kind of grand hall. As a number of people and civilians are entering it. <clears throat> As well as you see the city below them, there is your friend Corona being carried by one of the guardsmen into that hold. They seem really concerned. He seems rather beat up. Oh, well, there goes Corona. Okay, let's go. Let's let's leave the dragon to his uh, thing. Let's go make sure. Let's go make sure he's okay. I'm pushing the dog. Let's go. So. You swim down lower and lower. Make me a perception. I got a fucking seven. Second. Perception. I got a... That's gonna be a 19, boss. You notice that the tides have shifted. And as the tides have shifted towards the dragon... You're covered in blood. And you can see the blood carrying. This is hot. Uh, okay, so... You can specifically so, uh, see all the crab meat that Corrin is carrying as the blood seeps off it and goes towards the dragon. Oh, fuck. Drop it. Drop it uh, now. But, okay, then, you got it. I'm dropping that shit. And she's going to push uh, Bluford faster. As you look, you see the head turn towards you and its eyes widen. It's now swimming towards you. Roll me initiative. F- Fuck! <laughs> Again! I got a fucking seven. I got a six. Oh, I'm, um... I had to have crab meat. I just, I just wanted to fucking eat some crab. No. You just have, have to do it. Like, this is why we can't have nice things. You're why we can't have nice things. Yeah, I guess. Fair enough. Okay. I'm still dropping that fucking crab meat. So you drop the crab meat. You notice that... So the dragon got a 21. Can someone make me an initiative counter? Okay. A 
either in general or D and D adventure. Yeah. You got it, or do you want me to do it? I can do it. Give me a second. Okay. So the dragon got a twenty-one. Yep. Blue fruit got a six. The hand got a five. There. Okay. Uh, could you rearrange that to be oh, like down it. like mine? On the computer, it doesn't let me do that. Yeah, I can do it. A shift enter. You can do it. Okay, give me a second. Oh, thank you, Corin. I got you. Thanks. Okay, so the dragon, it looks at the meat, but it doesn't seem to have noticed you yet. As it goes Fuck, to swim towards go. the meat, it is going to attempt to... It sees the meat, it sees the people, but it doesn't see you yet. It's going to blow a fire breath. I need all of you to... Um... One moment. <clears throat> I need you all to make a deck save. <clears throat> I got a 22. Okay, give me a second. Hmm. Lufer and hmm. the hand fail. You fail. Corin. Deck save? Yep. That's an 18. You also fail. We all we you all needed, failed. Holy shit! We needed a twenty-four. Oh fucking hell! This is bullshit. Ugh. Okay. How much okay. damage are we taking? So, as it blows out its, its breath of fire underneath the water, it skis forward. It kills the majority of the people, frying them instantly. As the rumble closes whatever hole there was towards the entryway of where they were taking your friends. And then you guys are taking 34 damage. All that healing down the drain. Mm. The hand and Blueford are still sitting pretty okay. <clears throat> How the it fuck are we now, gonna get to Corona now? It's now your turn, Corin. Fuck, what should we do? <laughs> we this need is... to swim try to find a way to get to Corona. Uh this fucking dragon. I mean, we is need it... to get it. Can I... get away some fucking how? Uh, can I kick the uh, the crab meat like away from us? It's currently sinking what? down quite fast. We just need to get away. Yeah, let's let's move the fuck away from the crab meat because he Which... seems pretty interested in that. Which direction? Uh. Uh, I guess a little bit. You said it was. Uh, you said the cave that was Corona was going to be in is blocked so, off now. It's so the cave is to the south of you. The dragon is towards the north of you, and below you is the crab meat that is sinking down, blowing this bloody water north. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna go south towards Corona, away from the blood and the crab meat. I'm also going to head south and push Blueford along. Okay. The, then, uh, none of you are going to attack the beast? Hell no. I'm just trying to get the no. fuck out of here with my life. 
Fuck that. He can have the crab meat. I don't care. Okay. So you guys make it over. You slowly are swimming down. And as you're swimming down, I need you all to roll me a stealth check. Done. So oh, roll. I got a 19. That's an 18. Okay, I'm going to roll for Bluford. Blueford hit so well that uh, he has now gone from both of your guys' sight. He just disappeared. What the? What the fuck? Don't worry about it. He's still here somewhere. Just keep going. Ava, you're currently pushing something, but you don't really know what you're pushing now. Like I said, he's around here somewhere. Let's just keep going. The hand is just grappling onto you, Corrin. Cool. So, the dragon makes its way over to the meat and starts tearing into it, biting off a chunk and eating the crab meat. I'm gonna keep going. Okay. Keep moving. You swim your way over to that hole. As you notice, it's covered with boulders and rocks. Although there are some small cracks in them in between the boulders, it seems that maybe if you had enough leverage, you might be able to get a boulder up and you get it can swim through. Corn, you're strong. H how, how, big are these, <laughs> how big are these uh, boulders? Uh, quite large. Uh, they're about three times the size of you. Okay. Well, maximum effort. I'm going to try and lift it. Roll me a strength check. I got a 22. You lift it. Hell yeah. You were able I push. To, you were able to lift the boulder out of the way as it tumbles and turns down. I'm immediately going to swim through that fucking hole uh, yeah, with whatever too. I'm pushing. In. So you swim this... through the hole of the orange and yellowish light, and as you get through, you notice that you get pushed through a thin veil of what seems to be gelatin, and then you're knocked onto your ass as you are inside a concealed chamber of air, as there are merfolk and all kinds of other things, and they gasp as you come in as if they weren't expecting land folk down here. The guards ready their spears and point them at you. Hey, hey, hey wait, hey. wait, wait. We're, we're cool. We're trying to get away from that damn thing, too. Just chill. Yeah, we're Ow. cool. We're good. Don't worry, oh, we're cool. Roll me a charisma. Fuck it. I'm Nobody going to... You want charisma? Who is talking right now? Me. I think, well, I also was, but, you know. Corin, if you were the main I'm one. I'm rolling. Corin or Ava, who is the main one talking? Yeah, you know, I you was. You, you take the lead. <laughs> Ava, I was. I'm rolling roll persuasion. Me. Okay, roll me persuasion. That you're not a threat. That's fucking 34. Okay, you managed to convince the guards that you were just trying to get away from them. And that, you know... They still think you're suspicious, so they're going to shackle you, but they're not going to stab you. Instead, they're going to lead you off to a holding cell. Of course they are. All right, so, fine. Can, can hands, I get healed? Some healing, please? Your hands are shackled with a sea prism stone, and they look at the dog, and they don't really know how to shackle him, so they put a large giant shackle collar around his neck and then shackle it to you, Corin. Your Great. Hands are, your hands are in front of your body and you're now shackled and you have the, the blue fruit is like a chain leash now. The hand managed to slip in between your coat and get away. So it's fine. Solid. Hell yeah. You are leading, you are led into a large area as you are entering this hall of yellowish 
in an orange light as you see all these decorations that would be quite rich. It seems that this seems to be their town hall or their mayor's office of sorts. As you rush past, you can see there is a number of people attending to the wounded and everyone. And then you come up to... You see this massive thing. This massive, almost creature sitting within a large concealed sitting within like this large tank of water as it appears to be on a throne of sorts kind of and you are told to kneel okay Ava's going to kneel uh, while looking at this thing Corin will you kneel Corin Corin grumbles under his breath but he, he kneels as you kneel, you see an aboleth appear to the glass, and you all hear in your psychic mind. Hello, for I am the ruler of the underwater realm. You seek to come to my city. Why are you here? Why have you come? Speak. Ah, oh, shit. Ava's thinking right now. She's trying to figure out how to persuade. <laughs> My people are currently within a crisis. And I am in no need of trouble right now. Speak while you are down here. We're not here for trouble. We're not here for trouble. We just heard about something that maybe you could help us with. We were trying to get in, and then the thing attacked, and yeah, we were trying to get here because we needed some advice from you. The guards turned us away, so we were, you know, going to leave and be respectful. What but was then... your show? You took the test of strength and failed, and this is why it's here. <laughs> So you no. are to, so you are to blame for this dragon being here. No, 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 no. We we were trying to get in and the guards would not let us in and then all of a sudden this dragon attacked us. We didn't lead it anywhere. We, we were had trying nothing to, get to do away. with that. Pers try roll a persuasion check. I'm rolling persuasion. Corin, you're the one that okay. told them that you were at the gate. You need to roll persuasion instead. Okay. Uh, but please let your persuasion be good. Uh, it's a 10. <laughs> oh, no. So he doesn't God believe... God damn it, Corin. He doesn't believe your story about being at the gate for that reason. Don't give me those petty lies. If you value your consciousness, then get on and tell me the truth. For I value it much more than a petty lie. He was just going to sigh and be like, okay, look, we came here because some of these, some murder folk murdered one of our friends. We were coming back, coming down here to figure out why. So your stupid guards are like, oh, we're not going to let you in until you do this stupid test. We obviously thought, okay, this is dumb. Let's go to this dragon, see if we can talk something out. Yeah, and then one thing led to another, and a friend made a really bad decision, and I see. here we are now right in front of you. And what were these particular creatures that killed your friend? Do you tell me. All we know is they were merfolk. No, no, And they no. said they lived what, down here. What were your friends? What creatures? Roll a history check, Ava. History, okay. You too, uh, you you too, Corn. Now it's a fifteen. I've, I mean, I don't know anything about the people before then, before like before I showed up. So I don't know. If, yeah, but I don't know any of them personally. You can still roll history. Okay. I got a fifteen. I got a dirty twenty. Okay, actually, Corn knows more for some reason. 
<laughs> so, Paul. You, Paul. Ava, you attempt to speak, saying that they had tentacles around their face, and Corin chimes in, chiming in and saying that they were actually, that they were underwater creatures called mind flares, and that they were strewn about, and the way they died and all that. The Abolith has a tentacle as he ponders this, and he looks to you and said, So your friend, the Mind Flares, told you they came from here and told you to go down and come kill me. After all, you did kill, so then were you the one that killed my son? Sorry, were you the one that killed my grandfather? Corrin whispers to Ava, What the fuck is this guy talking about? Um, sir, let me ask you this. Uh, did he randomly just show up during, like, an naval battle? Because if that was that, then we didn't even know y'all was related. We were just trying to get away from the battle that was going on on land that ended up becoming a naval battle somewhat, and he just kind of got caught in a crossfire. Well, I'm being honest here. You didn't want a liar, so I'm going to be honest. Hmm, I see. Then allow me to educate you. Do you know where mind flares come from? Not really. The water. He sighs. You have been... So you are orchestrating with them. I see. Look, they helped us out in a sticky situation. We helped them. We're like, okay, we're cool. We'll help you if you need some help. That's all we know. We only have one side of the story, man. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. We only had one what side of the story. What did they tell you then, huh? What did they tell you that we did to them? They told us that you pretty much kicked them out and told them that they can't come back. And they want to come back home. But you were like, no, you guys are really bad people or bad kids or whatever. And you're not allowed to come back home. That's all we know. Like, there was a big shenanigan. They got kicked out. You told them one thing. And yeah. Allow me then to educate you upon this world. You're encountering a thing called a metal virus. It is above your world and the land, correct? Correct. Was it not privy to you, or seem odd, that all of the water and food they had was completely pure of this virus, even though the city around you was getting deeply infected with it? Or that people were being carried off, but no, they weren't touched. That no one investigated their That no one came into their barn. There was no bodies within them. The rooms were empty. I know you know about the psychic link that I held over that town, but do you know why I held that link? No. Think for a moment. Your child. Why would a person control a city of people? And why would it be? Have we been fucking had? And why would it We've be? We've been fucking had. And why would it be that under this control of people, that somehow, somewhere, a person would just infect them, and that under their control? that they would be all fighting against each other to kill each other. But no, that these particular mind flares, no, they're not bothered by the virus. They're not bothered by the people. They're not bothered at all. What color was their blood by chance? Color, please, yeah. Hmm? There was blood like there at the place, but what does that 
What color was it? Mm. Roll me a history check. Corin, you can as well. Alright. That's a 24. That's a 9. Okay. Corin, you don't remember anything. <laughs> just kind of plateaued in your consciousness there. Just... <laughs> It's like doing good. Nope, never mind. Like I know this. No, I don't. You're just thinking blood. What is blood? Is blood a thing? So, hmm. I like blood. Blood's kind of my thing. So I was like, hmm. Interesting. I have blood. Not, I don't blood remember. Color? You're just thinking is, about like, blood. Like, is it? <laughs> uh, is Ava, it thinking? Of... Hmm. You remember that the blood was brown and purple. Blood was brown and purple. Does it not seem weird that the blood was not red? And he commissions one of the guardsmen to cut their hands. As they do so, the blood drips onto the ground, red. Does it not seem weird that of multiple species the blood is red, but their blood is brown and purple? I don't know what mine fair blood looks like. I just kind of thought that was just <sighs> my head hurts. Think very closely, little one, and tell me if you can see it. A town controlled by an Amlin, but only three are not affected. And with these three not affected. They are not seen, nor heard, nor taken care of by anybody, nor hurt by anybody, and they are cast out of the sea. Yet, yet, they seem to be perfectly fine where they're at. Completely fine, indeed. And you kill them. Their bodies rapidly decomposing, as if they've been dead for all this time. After all, I had only killed them in a day. And you're telling me that their blood was brown and purple. Seems like the blood had almost dried up at that point, as blood discolors over time. Tell me, what things are dead but living? Hmm? Zombies, the God, un God dead. Damn, undead. Uh, the undead. Oh, it's... fuck, we've been had. And if they oh, are the fuck. undead. And if they are the undead, something has to be controlling them. Oh, fuck. And if not we... me, then who do you think? Whatever that metal, wherever the metal virus came from. Oh fuck! Oh, now you have a We've sense of consciousness. Hooray! Hooray! Ava's gonna like look down, and she's just gonna be like, she may be freaking chaotic neutral, but she's still just like, fuck. That's not what I. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh uh, no. Uh, this is what I get for doing shit on a whim. Oh fuck. She's just kind of going to sink into the ground and like make herself as small as possible. <laughs> Gorn laughs. laughs. It appears that now you understand the predicament we're in. And that because of your foolish nature, to come down here and attack the city without understanding the full logic of everything, you charged knee deep below the sea level, thinking you're on a righteous mission to only have one side of the story. And now you brought us here against a dragon. 
I mean, it wasn't like I wasn't trying to get the No. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> you shall be taken to your cells to think about what you've done. Shut up, Cord. <laughs> we will prepare the provisions as you are going to be the first to be sacrificed. Huh. Is... Neat. They take oh. you away and you are taken into the back where you see a number of bodies. They've been starved. They seem rather lanky. Yeah, you provisions are, my asshole. You are put into a cell made of this same stone, sea prison. As you are locked in there, the door shuts. And as it shuts, you all feel an immense weight on your back. Ow. Yeah, this, no. this is this is unfortunate. Roll me an investigation. I got a fifteen. Hold on. Investigation. I got a twenty-six. Okay. You notice. You both notice that this, these bars and the shackles you have are suppressing your magical energy. Oh. They haven't made it so you can't cast magic. They've just made it so any magic you cast is downgraded by a level. By what? By one level. Oh, okay. So a level one spell is no longer a spell. And you also have disadvantage on casting spells. Hmm. Neat. What will you do? Is there any... You said we were in a cell, and the cell is is barred? Yep. Is, is there any structural weakness in the bars? Not that you can see. They're just straight bars. Hmm. Very thinly cut, so nothing can really get through. Can I kick the bars? As hard as I possibly can. You may try. Alright. Let's do this. Roll me an unarmored Strength, don't fill me now. Roll me an unarmored strike. Oh, an unarmored strike? Oh, okay. Actually, no, sorry. You would use your strength, so roll me a strength check. <laughs> Alright, I already rolled that one, but I don't remember what it was. So, you do know there's a little log that logs all your things in D&D, right? Where is that? I've seen it before, but I literally cannot find it. If you go to the top, there's a, it'll say campaign. It'll have the campaign name, and then there's a little, like, talk bubble. If you click that talk bubble, it'll show you what your last roll was. And your last strength check was 20. Okay, Corin, ready for your results? Yeah, go for it. You bend and dent the bars and you make them flex outwards, but you don't break the door down. All right. Uh, I'm going to kick it again. <laughs> Roll me another strength check. Fuck, that's a goddamn nine. As you kick the door, it just kind of goes ting, and you're, you feel a sharp pain echo through your body as you shiver a bit. 
Ow. I don't want to kick again. Ava. Yes. She's right next Sorry. to you. Oh, oh, are we in the same cell? No. Yes, you're we're in, in the same you're cell. In different cells, but you're next to each other. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I tried something. What do you got? She's going to turn her head and look at you, just like... I'm about to have a noose around your fucking neck. Or mine. I don't want to be sacrificed. But... Look. We got to get out of here, because Corona's around here somewhere. I think I saw him in the hall. I think they were treating him for something, and they don't know. Him, which is kind of good. Yeah, if he's not in a cell, then, you know, we, we, we got to bust our buddy out of here. But we got to get out of here first. Did they take our weapons? Nope. There's fucking fools. I am going to try to flip out. It seems to be like a makeshift holding of sorts. Can uh, I use sleight of hand to try to slip my hand out of these cuffs? You can. Or whatever? Not. No. No? Take okay. your wrists. Hey, Vienna. Are they, are they like, is there something in the middle where I can pull them apart? Nope, because they're fashioned together. It's like automated, like one piece of, like two pieces of superism stone, just connected to, just like, latched on top of each other. Okay. And sealed magically. Hey, Vienna. Buddy. The hand, I, need you, I need your help. So the hand crawls out after, so he's like kind of groping on your peck. And he like crawls out under your arm. Hey, hey, bud, are you able to do anything about the shackles? He uh, signs to you, and you can make out a yes. All right, get these off for me real quick. Thanks, bud. Okay, what is he gonna try to do? <clears throat> I'm gonna see what he's gonna try to do for you here. Um, trying to find the spell real quick, sorry. Take your time. He has a lot of spells. Did you guys want to take any sort of rest while you're in here? Or... Yes, I do. I want the shackles off first, and then yes. Okay. I definitely want to take a rest while we're in here. Okay, so... <clears throat> You should make a constitution saving throw. The constitution mm -hmm. saving throw? Okay. Uh, only Corrin. Okay. Uh, that's a goddamn nine. I'm fucking terrible tonight. Okay, you gotta get a chunk of health right, left, right? Uh, 72. Okay, he's gonna use a fifth level heat metal on you. Oof. got an 18 so he shoots heat metal onto this like beam of like hot light shines onto your shackles immediately heating up to pure orange as they melt and deform on your on your arms you can now pull them off if you wish but they're also burning you for 18 damage yeah i'll pull them off Okay, you pull them off, and as you do so, they come undone from you as they've burned your skin around your... You have third-degree burns around your wrists. 
and the metal and falls. Use a... The sea prism stone falls onto the floor and lets us as it's on the ground melting. Ow. You said, and you said 18 damage? 18 damage. Alright, that's, that's okay. I can live with that. That kind of hurt, but thanks, bud. Bro fist. He gives you a thumbs up. All right. Well, I'm free of my shackles, Ava. Would you like to free me too? That's up to the hand. You you want to do your thing, little bud? Okay. Uh, the hand is going to attempt to free you, Ava. Let me choose a different spell as he burned up one of the spell slots. So he's going to use knock on you, Ava. Okay. As he does so, his hand glows a bright blue energy, and he flicks a hand towards you, tapping his finger on your shackles as they instantly unlock. Nice. He's going to do the same on Blueford. Blueford's instantly unlocks, and you now have a dog in your cell with you that is free to roam around. Blueford is sitting in front of you, Corin. Is like wagging his tail and like panting. Uh, good boy. Head pats. Okay. So, yeah, I guess, uh, you want to rest before we do some shit? Yeah. Can't, re can't rest that long because you never know when they're going to come in and be like, hey, here. You may take a short rest. So, click the short rest button on your page. Cool. Did you it didn't do anything. Oh, I gotta remind again. So you guys are resting for eight hours, right? Yes. Um, I need you to roll me eight hit die. So a hit die is a one d eight. So roll 8d8 for me. And that's the number of hit Both of us? Yeah, both of you. That's the number of hit points that return to you. Thirty-two? Oh, forty-three. I got thirty-two. Yep. That amount of hit points is restored to each of you. That's how much you heal, right? Yep. And what about our spell slots? If any have recovered, here's the thing: spell slots don't recover in a short rest. Only certain ones. Okay. Do. Okay. What about heals? Would those spell slots recover? It would. So D and D Beyond works automatically. So, besides the healing thing, but uh. Only certain ones would recover, so like a warlock or sorcerer or something. Otherwise, no, mm -hmm. your spell slots recover after a long rest. Okay, never mind. Just so I make can make sure real quick. Okay, so what level, what level are you, by the way? Ava? Me? Yeah. 19. You can recover up to 8 spell slots. So when you do a short rest, you can recover half the amount of spell slots equal to your level. Nice. 
So you have your level, and then you have your level, and that's how many spell slots you can recover after a short rest. So you can recover. Cool. Okay. So you get to recover nine spell slots. Cool. But they can't be six level or higher. Okay. That's fine. Anything happen for you, Corrin, with like your crimson rights or uh, yeah, they come back, which is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, everything's good except for my... Uh... You haven't been using a lot of your blood rights. Oh, I had... <laughs> haven't really had an opportunity to, like, do anything, like, special. Every every enemy we've come across has been, like, easy or, like, ridiculously fucking hard to where they don't really do much. Well, you know, we'll get there. Yeah. So, Let's hope. now you guys have taken your short rest. When you awaken from your short rest, you notice that six of the people that were in the cell are gone. Oh, shit. Six cells are now empty. And there's only currently five remaining, plus you two. So, seven. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but how do we get out of here? Well, uh, Corrin is going to kick his cell door again. Roll my strength check. Oh, that's bullshit. I got a seven. What the fuck? You <laughs> Right when, there next to the 20. When you kick the door, you have a shiver up your spine. Take... You are going to take, um... Take two damage. Ow. Can I try to? N no, I'm gonna hurt my little ass. <laughs> Actually, no. Blueford I want to use the a... whip. So Blueford is going to walk up to your cell door, Corrin. And he's going to use his fling tongue sword to light up his teeth, his metal like jaw teeth. And he is going to bite through the bar slowly, melting the stone metal away. That's you a good boy. You just hear a ching, 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 ching as he slowly bites away at each bar. That's a good boy. Let me see how long, roll how long it's going to take for him. It's going to take him 13 minutes. Well, that's a good boy. That's a good... Anything you two want to do right. in this time? I don't know. I'm I'm kind of at a loss. Like, we need to get out of here. And Blueford at least will be able to get them out. I need to get out too. But I could probably use stealth and make myself per seem invisible. So he is thirteen minutes have passed. <laughs> he has bitten off all the bottom of the bars to your holding cell and to the side wall of your cell and Ava's cell. So you can now bend them, Corrin, if you choose to. Yeah, that works. Let's let's bend them. Let me roll me a strength check. For fuck's sake, I have 12. You are able to... So you're able to bend them up, but not as fast as you'd be able to, or you'd like to. It's going to take you at least 
20 or so minutes to bend them all the way up to make a path for you and her. And as you do so, they go... Like, they're just like... As you bend them, they make loud, squeaky metal noises. Well, maximum effort. Ava's gonna be looking around to see if, like, any coming while he's doing this. You notice that- I'm gonna do a perception check. Okay, throw me perception. That's a 25. You notice there are some shadows of some guards kind of like slowly walking down a hall and they appear to be coming towards you with a light. Oh fuck, they're coming. They're coming. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Uh. Do, do, I, do I stop? <laughs> is it noticeable that we've been trying to break out? Is it that? Is it like very noticeable? You bent At five bars up to the ceiling. Uh, I, I, it's really noticeable. Easy. Well, just keep going. Fuck it. We've got nothing to lose. <laughs> Um, Will you do anything, Ava? I am going to... Yes. Let me see. I am. I am going to... Use press the digitation. And... Make the sound of an explosion... Happen much further down and away from us. Like, I can see down the hall where they're coming towards us. I'm gonna make the sound of an explosion happen. Okay. Behind them. Okay. <clears throat> you have to roll for anything for that? I do not. It is just an act. It's just a cast. Okay. And I can cast it at will. So you do so... And as you do so, you all hear a loud explosion as you hear a bunch of men and guards say, Hey, what is that over there? I'm going to turn back. I'm going to just tell Corn, keep going. Hurry the fuck up. I only have so much time. Uh, maximum effort. Let's go. Okay. So as you continue, Corn. You manage to get ten bars up and almost half of the bars fully up to the ceiling bent above you. Is, is that enough to get free for both that, of us? That is enough for you to get free, but you have to bend up Ava's bars now. Uh, fuck. Okay. <clears throat> well... Gotta break you out somehow. <laughs> Come on, I could, I did right, it. Let's go. So, so the dirt. As so, um, there's gonna be like, uh, since it's a cantrip, I can, I can cast it more than once. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast it again, but further away this time. You can't see that far down. Okay, I'm gonna cast it to the left. So, like, where it's coming from, like, one of the empty cells. It sounds like it's coming from around one of So you fling it around a corner, and it's like, where's that explosion coming from? And you see, like, a bunch of lights kind of, like, shimmy away from the hall, back around the corner. Okay, I think I bought us enough time. They're going to be investigating that for... Cool. Oh, well, I'm gonna keep bending these bars. Gotta get you out of here. You've now bent enough bars to like her free. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. All right, I'm gonna get out. You have two ways to go, right or left. The right side down the hall is where you made the explosion. The left side is where you came from. We're going to go down the left side where we came from, but I'm going to use stealth. 
I'm going to be as stealthy as I possibly can. I will attempt to stealth, but it, it's oof. That's a 24. What about you, um... Uh, I have, I have disadvantage on stealth. Do I, do I just roll it like normal, or...? You can roll, and then if you right-click, you can add disadvantage. Uh, okay. Six. <laughs> okay. Oh. Blueford disappears from sight. He got an at 20. Good for you, Blueford. Shit, I'm pretty much gone, too. I gotta... So, like, you all look, and Blueford just, like, completely vanishes. And as you, like, put oh, your... Yeah. So when you put your hand there, there's no Blueford. He's vanished, vanished. Bro is just gone. Events to you, Blueford entered the plane of the Shadow Bay. He plane shifted. Damn. That little bastard stole so hard he fucking went into a different plane of existence. That's awesome. That dog is awesome. Yeah. So, Corin, you think you're super stealthy, but everyone can hear you. Yeah. And what about me? You are hiding behind his noise. Okay. I mean, everybody's gonna hear him, but they shouldn't hear me at all. Like... <laughs> I would say you go on ahead and let me know if it's safe. Okay, stay here. Heavy foot. Um, I'm going to go forward. And I want to do a perception check to see what's ahead of me. That's a 24. Okay. You see this long hallway, and then it enters into the main chamber, as if this is just being a makeshift holding cell area. And you notice that all the people are kind of gathered towards, like, where you saw the Ablith, as way further on is a bunch of guards holding up their spears, as the dragon is slowly coming in through, pushing away the boulders, and trying to get through the gate that you entered. She's gonna kind of slightly step back. She's, like, she's gonna look at Corrin. She's like, well, there's a few things that are happening. The dragon's trying to get in. People are huddled kind of down over where the obelisk is or was and uh well uh hmm, yeah we can either try i don't think you'll be blending with anything yeah we can try to find i or blueford can try to find well actually i think blueford would Try to find Corona, bring him back, and we go the other way. That's probably Bluford, a good idea. As you guys are saying this, Blueford is only kind of like diverted himself to the crowd and he's sniffing out where Corona and he picks up the trail. And he just shifts back into existence where Corona is and grabs him and shifts back out. <laughs> oh, fuck. All right. Go Blueford. This fucking. This fucking oh man, love this guy. This he dog was awesome. Nat twenty. What a fucking badass! So as soon as you guys are saying where Corona is, he shifts back into existence with Corona in his mouth, like his like little sleeve. Oh, you're such a good boy. She's gonna give him like head scratches. And there's Corona laying on the floor good unconscious. Boy. <laughs> good, good boy. Good boy. You keep well, him with you, okay? Good boy. Head pats. Proud of you. So, well, we got our friend back now, so, like, apparently we have no reason to be down here, so we gotta get the fuck out of here. These people are fucked. And this is where we really yeah. end the session.